Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to do a tutorial on the guitar solo part of Bell Bottom Blues from Eric Clapton's latest live album, Lady in the Balcony. I'm going to play through the whole song first. Um, before I start the note to note, I'm just going to take a minute to talk about the scale that used for this beautiful solo. It's pretty simple. It's just C major pentatonic scale. So if you know the pentatonic scale and especially the major pentatonic scale, find your root note here. So the C major pentatonic scale can, like, you just play the A minor pentatonic scale for the most of the time. So that's the same thing, same note. And the only note that is out of the C major pentatonic scale is, is this note. It's the fourth note. Here's the major third. through the first section. All right, what's happening here is Clapton is playing double stops at the first line. It's the open D string, and then it's the open B string. And it's the open string, first fret, third fret, and the fifth fret. Then is so it's back and forth alternately. So sliding on the sixth and getting back to the fifth. So here is the G string. So that is the first section. Let me do it again. After the first section, it's the second section that sounds like that. So what's happening is the D string, 5th fret, 7th fret, and the G string, 5th, it's a triplet. And then on the B string is the 5th, and hammer on the 6th. And going downhill from here. So there's a sliding from the seventh on the A string and um, the dynamic is very important here to emphasize on the sliding. sliding back here and is the A string on the third fret and it's the low E string on the fifth fret and he 
here we play this note um, the third fret on the A string three times so it's like and then sliding back So that is the second section I'll play through again. After the second section, the third section is a little bit complicated because it has a very fast hammer on and it's going to be a little bit tricky to play on time um, with a backing track. But it sounds like that. So, if we're playing really slow, is it's like hammer on on the G string and play this D string. And the dynamic is very crucial here too, because you have to really emphasize on this hammer on. And the note here played on the D string here, you gotta play it very quietly. And then you have to emphasize on these two notes again. So, and the uh, from the original version, I don't think Clapton was playing this note at all. He is just putting his finger to hammering on this one rather than actually using the right hand to make this note ring. So it's, it, what his playing is like. So this note, he doesn't play with the right finger. Just hammer on it. And it's gonna make the dynamic sounds really cool. So that's the third section. Now I'm gonna play the first three sections together because the first three section um, consists the first verse um, according to the backing track. So together it sounds like that. So after those hammering on, it needs to be um, developed into the fourth section really quick and the fourth section is the start of the second verse, um, which the bass line and chord progression is exactly the same with the first verse. So. The fourth section sounds like that. But you have to pick it up really quick from the third section or there's a lag of your soloing and you can't catch up with uh, the back the backing backing track. That's the fourth. After the fourth, the fifth so section sounds like that. It's pretty simple. It's just a lick running down. So it's just a 
pull up, hammer. So together with the third section, it sounds like that. Here's the sixth section, it is running down the scale all the way down to the A chords here or A chords here, no matter where you like to play your A chord. Goes like that. So it's a triplet from here, triplet, triplet. So it's from this F, E, D. So it's a three triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three. After that, you have this sliding down here again. So here it goes like from the A sliding down, and then, well, it's also a triplet, right? Pull up. And for the last A note, you don't play it, you just play the chord. So it's like. So it depends on how you play um, the chord progression in the bridge, which has, which I'm not going to cover specifically here. It's just A and E, F minor, D, E. So it's like. And uh, you just play all the way down. Then that's the end of the solo.